So I think I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try another car. Um, as soon as I got this, uh, the Koenzig, I actually did a couple of races with it. And it was also a pretty good uh, secondary car. Um, so I'm actually glad to be using it again, if, if I say so. Uh, huh, there's sync roll. And they actually did this car's uh, sound justice. <laughs> See, yep. <laughs> It definitely sounds like the the real thing, and as a lot of cars these days are twin turboed or got superchargers, it's, it's sad that we don't have that naturally aspirated the guttural sound like we used to, and a lot of them are now in like these these hollow tenor sounds. Um, eh, it's still got its its own character, that's for sure. So the only issue that I had with this car is the fact that I think this is basically where Synchro was when you first get it. Um, you only have like these two boost meters and they didn't fill up all that often. And it probably needed the upgrade or two. So when I finally did get a, that upgrade... Oop, we're starting to fly a little bit there. Gravity hurts. So when we got that upgrade, uh, well worth it well worth the upgrades honestly there are so many cars that really do benefit from from having those upgrades so as, as much as i avoid them for most vehicles when you get a good car with a good set of, set of upgrades it it's a huge game changer if i'm honest so uh, honestly if i had more boost this game is is definitely for a anytime you're on a straightaway you need to be boosting so when you've got those long times um, without boost, it's kind of painful, but I think the trade-off is, is that most other cars have, you know, speed that is between, like, the halfway point or halfway point, well, excuse me, one-third point or halfway point, um, so then they have these giant boost tanks that are, you can just constantly be using it, um, Cohen's egg, for instance, I think the speed is already most of the meter or whatever. Uh, so the trade-off is that you just have no boost, and it makes these these parts rather difficult because you just want to constantly be boosting and just boosting and boosting and boosting. I forget where I'm going. Here we go. <laughs> and then, like, your opponents who just have more boost that they can basically be using it constantly, they just catch up really quickly. So then we're in situations like this where we're going into loop, I have no boost, I'm going to be losing a lot of speed coming up here. Yeah, this third one here is going to kill me, so got boost saved up. We'll use it here. There we go, on the way down. Building up that speed, and then we topped out really quickly and can't even keep up with a, a freaking pickup truck. There we go. Semi, is it? Yeah, but we can round that corner with no issues. There we go. <laughs> so I don't know how long we can keep this up. Um, like, we're doing fine now. But I know that um, second place is really going to be catching up quick with, with the vehicle that they've got. It's definitely slower, but again, that having that boost meter is insanely powerful. Yeah, it's already starting to catch up a bit. I just can't keep any boost. So I'm definitely going to have to try out the multiplayer function at some point in time. Maybe not tonight, but definitely another time. Um, I don't know offhand. I don't know offhand if they allow upgraded vehicles in multiplayer or if it's just kind of like a eh, free for all. Who cares? Because I'd hate to have somebody playing the game for the first time and be like, "Oh, I'm just going to use Synchro," and then you've got me who rolls in with like fully upgraded Synchro, and they're like, "Well, why is he faster?" Or if they just only allow you to use one vehicle at a time. Well, oh, that's going to hurt. Can I draft, please? <laughs> is that even a feature in this game? Ooh. Oh, that was sketch. Oh, I really should have saved that boost here. Bummer. Second one's gonna... S ah, we're doing alright. This one's gonna hurt. And here we go. Building up the boost, and let's go. Come on, come on, come on. 
I wouldn't call it a photo finish, but yeah, he's got it at this point. <laughs> Bye, first place chances. Yeah, the fact that he's got that boost meter, I... Well, to be fair, the handling isn't good, so I think I actually might be able to make up... Ironically, Zeg is going to make up the time in the corners. Right. I can't remember where the end is. I want to say that after this, it just kind of dumps us out there, so we gotta make this pass quickly. Oh, I think we're, I think we're all right. We got a couple more corners yet. Well, that's a ballsy move to boost there. Oh, I'm so slow. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Bummer. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and do that later. Four time trials to go in three races. Let us play yet another. Ooh. I'm going to have to change cars. Synchro. Ah, Dior 2. Nice car in front of us. Never enjoyed playing as it in racing games, nor have I enjoyed it, but I definitely, like, have a hot wheel of it. Um, it's just so iconic. You can't go wrong with it. See you, bud. <laughs> the fact that you can, like, just run into other vehicles and it just sends them flying. I find it so humorous, but I mean in an online environment, it would drive me insane. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh! Hit a barrier there. Hello, toaster mobile. <laughs> I still find that funny. I'm trying to remember what other vehicles that I played as. Uh, I think I have winning formula, and I definitely want to play as that more, but I've done, uh, like, f I don't know what it's called. I want to say it's like Formula Flashback, or Flashback. Uh, that'll probably be my next race, honestly. I want to say that it was kind of like Synchro, where it had a higher speed, but the handling wasn't great, but it was worse than Synchro, so it just wasn't all that enjoyable to race as. I don't know. I enjoyed it. As much as I like playing as one car, I think I should probably have more variety, per se. I want to say that this is a different section of the college, camp college campus. Because um, the part that I remember vividly was kind of like the like old... I'm not even sure how to describe it. Um, it's like an old style... Um, room that you would have like conversations with either like your professors or like mainly the admissions teams and whatnot. Um, I'll have to find one of those maps so you guys don't think I sound crazy but if I already sound crazy enough, fair enough. But I didn't realize that the I didn't realize that the maps actually had, like, separate rooms that you could customize in, so maybe there is a backyard somewhere. <laughs> There's, like... Yeah, I know the basement's got that one room, but it sounds like you can go through a doorway and completely just go into a different room, which would be really cool for some tracks. I want to know what the longest track somebody's made. It would probably just be, like, a very flat track, and then at the very end it would be, like... You go down level and then you do that like 300 times where it's you just back and forth the whole way so it just blocks out the sun completely. Or like the lamps from the top of the room. So yeah, as you guys can tell, my driving is not uh, the cleanest with Synchro, but it's definitely uh, fast. So I don't complain about it, even though that there's an immense amount of wall rubbing. <laughs> like that, for instance. It's like, eh, fine, whatever. I actually have to be careful around this spot for stuff like that. Laps are not too long, so should be able to wrap this up. Ooh, ooh, sketch. Ouch. <laughs> I, honestly, I like the barriers. I, I hate racing and, like, screwing up a time trial due to them. But they definitely add a nice flavor to tracks where it's like, yes, the, the road is fairly wide, 
but we want the racing line to go through this area and we want to really penalize you if you do not take the desired route. And there we go. Matt 51 with the toaster portrait photo and it's I'm a free spirit. <laughs> I really don't have many profile customization options. I, I might have unlocked more since the last time that I've played around with it, but oof, does it need some updating?